So, um, if you're like me and you're constantly like signing stuff or putting your watermark on stuff or you want to just put your logo on a lot of things but find it kind of repetitive to go in a file, um, import, image, blah, 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 every time, you can actually save your watermark or your signature into the materials folder and use that like as a stamp. So I'll give you an example. Um, for example, when you open up your your Clip Studio um, program, let's say let's let's start it from scratch. Go to File, click New. I normally just define my um, my brushes, however, but uh, in this case, if I'm gonna be using it repetitively, I'd like to be able to have the option to enlarge it and scale it down whenever I want. I found that a good sweet spot for my signatures and watermarks is 800 by 800 with a resolution of 72. You can go higher or lower, um, but I would suggest go higher if you want. For me, 72 is enough. Um, so I'll click this 800 by 800 PX. Uh, I don't even have to put a file name, but uh, you can. So let's just do OK. And what I need to do is... Um, for example, if I want to have a handwritten feel for my signature, all I have to do is go make a new layer, and normally you have a new layer that's blank and transparent here. Click on the brush that you want to use as your signature. Let's say my signature says Asia, and I'm just writing on my screen right now. So let's say um, this is your signature. Make sure that you're actually not going past the bounds of your stamp so just um start again delete and another one make sure that you're within the bounds of your document that way you don't get your signature cut off right so i think i'm happy with that um i don't really use this but i'm doing this just for the video so let's say you have this turn off the paper background now it's transparent what you have to do now is just register it as material, file, oh sorry, edit, um, register material or the shortcut J and you just have to register it as an image. So like um, you can rename your material and say signature, handwritten, right? Uh, you can even click um, use for brush tip shape in case you want to convert it into a brush later and then make sure to save it in the brushes folder. And click OK. And that's it. So um, it will be found in the materials folder. It can also be found here, window, material, and then brushes. In this case, it's already in the brushes material. So all you actually have to do, if you want to use it again, is just drag it and voila. A good example is like, for example, you have uh, artwork. Let's open one of my. Um, or it works from before, let's say this. I already have a signature here, but if you need to add a signature, so just click on your materials folder, like you have all of these, right? Just look for your brushes, click on your materials folder and just drag it. And there you go, your instant signature. And you can actually just um, transform this any way you want when it's already in the file. So this is where the resolution comes into play. Mine is enough, but if you wanna enlarge yours, you can do so. And that's it.